Hello everybody, welcome back to Ra Online Education. I am Dr. Maheshwaran KS. I am a lecturer in the Department of Prosthodontic, Sri Ramchandra Faculty of Dental Sciences. Today we are going to be discussing about an interesting topic which is interim, transitional and treatment partial denture under the unit of removable partial denture. So we all know what a removable partial denture is, right? Basically, it has a lot of components like major connector, minor connector, direct retainer, indirect retainers, rests, then you have the denture base, the denture teeth, etc. There are a lot of principles that govern how you have to use a removable partial denture. So basically, that is a definitive prosthesis. So that is not the only type of removable partial denture that is available. We also have a temporary removable partial denture, which consists of your interim, your transitional and your immediate removal partial denture as well as your treatment removal partial denture okay so what are these type of removal partial dentures these partial dentures if you look they are completely made out of acrylic they have acrylic teeth and the entire denture base is going to be made out of acrylic there are no metal components except for the clasp that you see which is basically a simple 19 gauge uh, c clasp that we give okay so when do you give these type of temporary removable partial dentures so when teeth replacements may be necessary for shorter periods. So you're not going for a definitive treatment plan, but there is a short period of time where you have to give teeth for the patient, but that is not going to be the definitive treatment, okay? Which will serve alternative purpose than the permanent replacement, okay? Such as while tissue is healing or the related treatment is being provided. Got it? These processes are typically resin, which I already told you, with wire retention and may include components to provide tooth support. So basically it can be a situation where you have missing teeth, uh, the patient has to undergo replacement of missing teeth. Those replacement could be either in the form of a, a definitive removal partial denture or they could be in the form of fixed partial denture or even implant supported uh, prosthesis. But before you can go into that, what if the patient has periodontitis? What if the patient has multiple carious lesions? So what, are, what if the abutment tooths are uh, periodontally weak or they have calculus, plaque or they have caries requiring root canal treatment? So you will have to complete all those other treatments first before you can even go into the prosthetic phase of replacing the missing tooth. So till that time, you cannot expect the patient to have no teeth because the patient's chief complaint is going to be that he wants teeth. He is come you to come to you in order to have teeth, right? So even though you've explained to the patient that you need to undergo so and so procedures before we can actually start the tooth replacement process, till that entire period of time, it can be a month, two months, three months or even four months, the patient cannot be without a teeth. So in those situations, you will have to give this temporary removable partial denture, okay? So you can classify your temporary partial denture into an interim type, a transitional type and a treatment type. Okay, the transitional partial denture is similar or it is actually a synonym to your immediate partial denture. Got it? So we'll be discussing what an interim is, what a transitional is, what is a treatment partial denture, their indications and how do we fabricate those. So coming to the purpose of temporary partial denture, why do we have to give a temporary partial denture. So any prosthesis you take in prosthodontics, it has a purpose, right? So first thing is appearance. Like I told you, if your treatment plan is going to be an increased duration of time, where only in the final phase of the treatment plan, the patient will actually get the definitive tooth replacement. Till then, you can't expect the patient to have no teeth at all because that aesthetics is going to get affected. What if it's anterior teeth? So you will have to give a temporary partial denture for the reason of appearance. Maintenance of space, okay? Re-establishment of occlusal relationship. So maintenance of space can also be for patients, for young patients, for patients who are less than 18 years of age, for whom growth is still present. For those patients, you can't go ahead and give a fixed treatment plan before the maxillary and mandibular growth have completed. You have to wait till it gets completed. So in those patients, when they have lost a teeth, you will have to give some sort of replacement, right? So a temporary partial denture will help in maintaining the space that that particular tooth lost has caused. Then re-establishment of occlusal relationship, conditioning of teeth as well as the residual ridges. 
this is probably in relation to your immediate partial dentures where after you have uh, extracted the teeth you can condition the residual ridges with your temporary removal partial denture itself interim restoration during treatment like what we discussed patient needs endodontic therapy periodontal therapy or even orthodontic therapy you will have to give them some sort of temporary partial denture and conditioning the patient for wearing a prosthesis for some patients they may find it extremely difficult to actually wear a removal partial denture what if the final treatment plan is a definitive removal partial denture but the patient has never worn it and the patient is unable to wear it then with the use of temporary partial denture we are now slowly conditioning the patient to wear the prosthesis okay to use it to know how it actually is right so now let's go into the interim partial denture what does an interim partial denture mean it's a temporary partial denture used for a short time for reasons of aesthetics mastication or convenience until a more definitive form of treatment can be rendered okay this is the most common type of partial denture that you will be fabricating in undergraduate level okay you will mostly not be fabricating a removal partial denture having major connector minor connector etc most of the undergraduate students in your bds you are going to be fabricating this interim partial denture only okay 